Donald Trump is already fundraising off of his indictment. The subject line in this morning's appeal, one of many, is rumor details of my arrests. He writes that he's not afraid of what is to come before asking his supporters for campaign don don donations. The former president is already a declared Republican candidate for the presidency. And while it is still very, very early, he is leading the Republican field in the polls, in some cases by a lot. But for now, he sees this as a politically advantageous uh, uh, situation. Still, sources do tell us Trump does not want to be arrested, and he is anxious about his own future. Our panel is back with us. Um, in just the last couple of minutes, Ivanka Trump has weighed in. Uh, we haven't heard a lot from her, frankly, since she's left the White House, but she says this on Instagram, I love my father, I love my country. Today, I am pained for both. I appreciate the voices across the political spectrum expressing support and concern. Um, just weighing in from the pr former president's daughter and a former White House official. But the scene down in Florida, where Trump has been spending most of his time, is this, according uh, to The New York Times. He's been keeping a relatively normal schedule at Mar-a-Lago, which he calls my beautiful home. He's been dining with guests, playing golf, telling nearly everyone that he's in a good mood and that he believes the case against him by Alvin Bragg and the Manhattan district attorney had fallen apart. That was until yesterday evening, and then everything changed. It did, and I was uh, uh, talking to some people who were speaking with him, and they said, look, he was caught off guard by this. Not necessarily the fact that it was going to happen, but uh, he did think last week it would happen. It didn't happen, so some of his advisors often say what he wants to hear. They said that, uh, you know, this may not happen at all. So his uh, level of optimism had increased. He'd even sent out a message last week, or earlier this week, excuse me, about the grand jury that... Uh, yeah, we have that, that here. He says, their jobs here. He right. says, I have gained such respect for this grand jury, perhaps even <laughs> the grand jury system. And then he adds, the grand jury is, is saying, hold on, we're not a rubber stamp. He was really convinced that he had put his thumb on the scale here. Without question. And look, he didn't. I mean, he long has lived his life as thinking that he is above the law mm -hmm. here. Now we will see if that's happening. So one of the reasons he's anxious, because he is not con in control of this process. He's in control of sort of, you know, the optics of it. But once he enters inside that courtroom, this is not the Donald Trump show that he is used to doing. But one thing that uh, he can sort of uh, take some heart in, that he's essentially frozen this presidential race. He has frozen this 2024 campaign. And as we enter the month of April here, uh, the second uh, quarter of the year, five months before the uh, debates begin, uh, that is good for him that he has frozen this in place. But we should say clearly, we have no idea what the long-term politics of this are for Donald Trump. We have no idea. And he doesn't want to be indicted. No, no he doesn't he want does to be charged with a crime. No, indictment is not good for anyone. <laughs> um, and listen, Shocking. I think for <laughs> Trump, this isn't always humiliating for yeah. him, right? I mean, if you think about uh, the circumstances of this case, uh, what it means for his family and what he was doing, possibly, uh, with, with Stormy Daniels, and also the fact that people who were essentially his sycophants, right? You know, somebody like uh, Michael Cohen are part of this case and part of possibly uh, bringing him down. So he is going to be booked and processed, uh, have to give his fingerprints and, and take a mug, mugshot, possibly um, handcuffed. It's not clear. I mean, I think that's still up for, for a debate at this point. But this is not something he is looking forward to at, at all. And the idea that maybe it'll help him in the short term to raise some money, possibly, but in the long term for his prospects, an indictment is just not good. Here's uh, David Urban, who uh, knows Donald Trump very well and has worked with him over the years, explaining just that psychology that you're describing, Nia. You know, fingerprinted, put his hands up, down, and, and uh, have his, his photograph taken, and, and he's not going to like it. He's not going to like it at all. It is a completely sobering thing, and I think it's going uh, it, it, to affect him deeply. Now, Trump is a master of taking a bad situation and trying to use it to raise money, trying to use it for his political benefit. But... Uh, just as this is an unprecedented moment for this country, I think even he, when he was facing his second impeachment, he also didn't want to be impeached a first time or a second time because of what that would say about his legacy. But to Jeff's point about control, he had far more control mm -hmm. of that process, which was a political process because of the loyalty and fealty that the Republicans on Capitol Hill were still displaying for him during the impeachment process. Here, um, obviously, this goes back to what I think Urban is describing is this is exactly the moment where it all goes out of his control because he is going into this court system. So as much as, yes, he is a master brander, he is trying to 
call this without any evidence that it's election interference and he will work every lever he can work. The problem is he has no levers inside mm -hmm. the actual court process to work. That is for attorneys, the judge, a jury, and that is not a position he has normally found himself in. And it's going to be more important than ever, you'd think, that he would start listening to his attorneys because he is famously doesn't, or his advisors. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he was uh, put out on Truth Social. There was that meme of um, him holding a baseball bat and um, Alvin Bragg. Things like that are not going to be uh, going to fly when, as you said, he doesn't have any control. He doesn't have a chorus of Republican senators to uh, defend and him he's, here. He's already starting to attack the judge in this case. Yes. Uh, you know, it would be interesting to see whether or not that continues because this is a legal proceeding, mm -hmm. and judges typically don't like defendants going around uh, trying to taint the case in the court of public opinion.